Hey folks, Jen R. Morgan here, and today we're going to look at the VVPV from notsigs.com. Let's just take a close look and get right into it. So let's take a look what comes with the VVPV. You get a set of Allen wrenches, very tiny ones, a wall charger with the uh, end adapter. I'm not sure if it comes like that or if it was modified. It's hard to tell. Two Trustfire Flame 14500 batteries and the VVPV itself with a hose already fed through to the custom mouthpiece which we will get to. Um, the atomizer connector sitting up a bit and you'll notice that it is pretty much identical to the top of the Infinity Pro. Looks a little like the Buzz Pro one too but it's just about identical to the Infinity Pro. And it has that nice little bit that sticks up. Um, the button is a little nicer on here, and it has the same voltage wheel as the Buzz Pro and the Infinity Pro. On and off switch on one side, and then the juice feed, the, uh, the port for the wall charger. And the juice feed system, which is basically a modified, I believe, perfume bottle. With the spring on the outside of the hose so that it, you know, pushes down through the hole in the casing. That's glued in there. They do sell extras. It does only come with the one and then the tube feeds up and you feed the top of the bottle through the hole in the casing and then the spring makes it so that when you push the button it recoils and pushes some juice up through the tube and the tube is fed into a hole on the side of this modified mouthpiece and then you can see the tube. Let me try to push it in a little more here hanging out the bottom and that's where the drips come out onto your, directly onto your atomizer. From that little bit there are some, there's some water in there because I rinsed the hose and the bottle out. Now we need the smallest of the little Allen wrenches. Now this I couldn't find anywhere in the manual and it had to be a case of trial and error because when I first got it I couldn't get it to work. What you need to do is take these itty bitty little Allen screws out of the bottom. There are four of them which I am deathly afraid I'm going to lose. But thankfully you don't have to do this very often. And then this whole bottom plate will come off uh, with two springs to hold the batteries in place. And there is kind of a plastic shielding little paper wrapper around the inside. I'm not quite sure why, but I try to keep it in place. Now what I couldn't find anywhere um, was which battery goes in positive side down and which one goes in negative side down. Works out this way. Negative out on the inside, positive out on the outside. Now, you put the bottom back on. Since it charges through that port on the side in the wall outlet, Unless you need to replace those batteries because they're not functioning anymore, you don't ever have to open this up again. Or you shouldn't, at any rate. So, but let's be careful and get our tiny little screws back where they go. I'm not sure why they don't ship with the battery inside it. Um, that would be a little easier. The instructions are about operating the device itself and are pretty much like the instructions that come with the Buzz Pro. And they don't really discuss inserting those batteries initially. Now the other thing I want to talk about is you'll notice that my door for the juice feed is black and the body and everything else is chrome. I kind of got a little confused on the website. I really wanted an all black body and chrome top and bottoms. Um, but I really, apparently I didn't understand the ordering system so I have this very odd looking one. Which I don't like but that was my own fault. So black door, everything else is chrome. Now you've got to make sure those screws are tight because the only thing that's keeping this little door on is a little protrusion in the center on the bottom there and a magnet on the top and there's a little groove in the bottom piece there. You've got to get that little bit that sticks out in the hole in that groove and then it will fit in and the magnet will hold it on top. And with it in tight enough the door does not fall out. But I had the plate a little loose at one point and then the door was just falling off. So you have to make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, well we will go ahead and uh, Turn it on. Red light means on. When you fire it, 
correctly, it will turn blue. Now, the light has gone out because I don't have the wall socket in. Normally that will stay red, and the light on the charger is red when it's charging, green when it's done or not doing anything. So you can plug it in, and when the light on the wall adapter goes green, it's done charging. Now they tell you it must be turned on in order to charge. Now you fire it, and there's no short, you'll get a blue light. Now I'm gonna just going to screw a standard 2.5 ohm atomizer on here, just a regular joy, and I have the drip tip, uh, the drip shield, just to because I'm messy. Now what I there is a little O-ring here so that you can use that to like elastic band the tube around your atomizer. Um, I don't use that. I just kind of twist it until it gets pretty close, and then you're ready to go. So. Let us go ahead and uh, fill our VVPV with some juice. Take the bottle out. Unscrew it. If you need up. Butterscotch. Quite nice at high voltage, I might add. There we go. And screw the bottle back onto the white cap. Tuck the button back up into the body there so it pokes out. Slip the bottle in, put our door back on. Now that holds about three mil, maybe a little more for tops. Not a whole lot, but you know, works pretty well. Now I'm going to take this off a sec because there's either little bits of leftover water in there or not juice. So I don't want to put that water in the atomizer. So I'm going to pump the bottle a couple of times until I get my juice that I just put in there coming up. See it? Here we go. A couple more. Almost to the top. Okay, so the next time I hit that, it should actually be putting the juice that I have fed in there. Now, because of the way that perfume bottle works, it doesn't let the juice flow back down. It keeps the pressure up. So two drops, and now I have dropped juice onto my atomizer. Roll the little dial to change your voltage. So that's my close-up look at the VVPV from NotSigs.com. Mine is really odd looking. Probably my own fault. But be careful on the website about, because you, you can choose like chrome or brass tops and chrome body or black body and there were all these little radio buttons to pick for which color you want where. What I really wanted was a black body with chrome top and bottom. But somehow I ended up with this chrome body that is fingerprint magnety and just the black door. I must have picked the wrong things. Um, so I'm not particularly happy with how my personal unit looks. I'd rather have a complete wraparound black body. I think that would be kind of cool and very cyberpunky looking. Um, so not the world's most perfect design. I call it my ghetto eclipse, and Mario's going to hate me for that. Um, you know that on and off button sticks out? Maybe that could have been inside the body, or behind the bottle, or on the side, or, or, or more flush, um, so that it just doesn't stick out in the bottom. Um, I don't have a problem with the power hole that's right there, that's fine. Um, the buttons aren't bad. I like this power button better than the one on the Infinity and the Buzz Pro because it's a little bigger. Um, I like the red, you know, the blue indicator when I'm firing without a short. The wheel is easy to use just like it is on the Buzz and the Infinity Pro. Drawback, of course, is that you don't have anything showing you exactly what you have it set to for voltage, but, you know, you're pretty much doing it for taste and you, you probably know that there's a green and a yellow and a red hash mark on the wheel so you can tell when you have it all the way to one side, all the way to the other side, or all the way in the middle. You can pretty much get close to yours. I hate dripping. I'm a horrible dripper. This actually drips really well for me. Um, I know when I start to get it off taste that I pushed a button once. And it pretty much feeds really well. I wish it could use a different dip trip. I'm going to have to maybe try looking at one of my other drip tips and drilling a hole in it to feed that through. Um, and I kind of wanted to hate it because I looked at it and said, oh, it looks like a flask. Oh, it's ugly. Oh, it's a proprietary goofy bottle. Um, but you know what? 
Yeah, it's not a fancy eclipse with the digital display and the digital readout and the program exactly how long I want you to hold the micro surgical pump. I'm sorry, Mario, don't hate me. Um, but you know, in the meantime, this is, I think, a, a acceptable top feeding alternative. I'll bait manual, because you've got to push the button. And you probably want to order a spare battery. But Overall, I've been dragging this around with me. The battery life for two 14 high hundreds, even though they're not in, a, in parallel, so you get double the milliamp hours, they're in series, so you get, I believe, so you get the voltage that you need off the top, um, actually lasts for quite a while. And you know, you don't think there's much in that bottle, but because you're sort of dripping, I'm not over dripping anyway. I'm dripping more economically than I usually do on my own. Um, it actually sort of works fairly well. So for things that I like at higher voltage and dripped, which isn't a whole lot because I'm usually an LR girl, um, this is really kind of doing well. I mean, yeah, it's a box mod, but it's actually a pretty small, kind of sleek even though mine is silly chrome box mod. That, uh, the not SIG's um, 510 connector is different than everybody, almost everyone else's, and that it almost has an adapter built in on top. So it's perfect with a drip shield. In other words, they all have, uh, they all have that uh, extender part that sticks up. That pretty much makes them perfect to just drop a drip shield right down onto them. I don't mind the wheel. Um, I like that I don't have to mess with swapping batteries out. I just plug it in at night. Probably not the safest, but it seems to work. I keep saying that, don't I? I, I figured I wasn't going to like it, but I kind of do. It, it fits in a shirt pocket. It fits in a back pocket. It fits in a coat pocket. You can, you know, drip while you're driving at high voltage. mileage may vary but that's what it is what it does what I like about it what I don't like about it which confuses me sometimes but there you go the VVPV